What's going on, you guys? I'm coming to you today with a yet another squad builder. I'm going to be building an Imperial app. I picked up a second gunboat, so I wanted to do a double gunboat build. And I'm going to do them a little bit differently because I, I, I started out kind of running these and thinking, well, you know what? I'll run two of them exactly the same. And that kind of didn't work out for me. So, I mean, it's okay, and I, I think it can work. I just I wanted to do a little bit more variation to kind of, you know, run the gamut. Um, so I'm going to be doing uh, one with uh, the Arsenal loadout, and we'll be running Major Vendor. So Major Vendor is, when defending, if you have a weapons disabled token, one roll one additional defense die. So it gives them a little bit more survivability. Uh, but also the idea here is, uh, you know, I want to run him uh, with Push the Limit. So that he can re-roll, and uh, and basically, if he wanted to, you know, reload and get a weapons disabled token, then he could also target lock to be able to take advantage of the token there. Uh, you know, so he's he's going to have a weapons disabled token a lot, but he'll still be able to shoot. Uh, so that much is pretty good. So basically, the OS one, I get an extra. I don't really need the extra icons here, although you can use those. Um, but I'm going to just give him harpoon missiles now. You could, you know, load him up a little bit more if you wanted to. You, there's a lot of different ways you could run this title. But I think since here's a guy who gets a benefit from having the weapons disabled token, I can go ahead and take push the limit on him. And I can do, you know, multiple different things. If I need to slam, um, you know, I'll be okay because he's got the, the benefit from weapons disabled. But really, like, first turn I can, you know, focus and target lock. And then, uh, and then if I need to... Um, you know, I can I can potentially reload and then target lock, or target lock and reload. So so that much is nice. Uh, so that's basically what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be pushing the limit here uh, to reload and then target lock again. And anytime we don't necessarily need to do that, we can um, you know we can save the stress. And he can just do the one forwards. Now he doesn't have the most green in the world, but uh, for a, a a two to three, so for a long range weapon, uh, it's good that we have the one forward that's green so that should should be good enough uh, and if not you know we don't have to push the limit every single time uh, because we get in close range we're still gonna have three dice anyway so we don't necessarily have to target lock on those on those turns so what else are we gonna do we're gonna run another star wing and the second one I want to run a little different I'm gonna run the row squadron veteran and I'm gonna give him the other title now the good thing about the row squadron veteran is that he has the EPT and he's at PS4 so he's you know he'll 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 go before you know before a lot of your generics and so we're going to gain two cannons there um, so one of the things I want to go I'm just going to go for the I'm going to go crazy with the big old heavy laser cannon and the idea here is because he will suffer against aces because he's not going to have uh, you know the ability to you know put to, to predict where they're gonna go So I think I'm, I'm figuring this guy's probably gonna just focus most of the time So if he's gonna focus most of the time, uh, you know target locks may be difficult for him So he won't ever need to worry about that because I'm gonna give him linked battery and Linked battery is gonna basically if anytime he's firing from HLC He's gonna get a reroll and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna double down on the rerolls here uh, and you don't have to do this um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him Predator. So now he's got two rerolls every turn, uh, potentially three. But uh, yeah, so he's going to always be able to have the you know the target lock and focus from a certain point of view. He's always going to be able to have that, and that's not too bad. And these are 35 and 34 points respectively. So now I, I did think I wanted um, somebody who could contrast this list a little bit. Uh, I wanted to go with a little bit more. Um, a little bit more of a uh, you know an arc dodger, and the, I figured I would go with well, what better than go with the new tie aggressor? I mean, not the aggressor, the tie silencer. What am I thinking? There we go. There it is, tie silencer. Um, now, if I wanted to go with Kylo Ren, that would put me over here because I've got you know I can, now granted I could drop down some of the stuff. I could I could drop down the pilots. I could drop from HLC to Mangler Cannon. You know, there's all kinds of and Mangler Cannon would actually synergize with Harpoon missiles a little bit more. So we could do that. Um, as a matter of fact, let's do that. And but then I'm not going to be able to have Major Vendor there. So you know what? Let's not. Let's just keep it with the heavy laser cannon. And I'm going to go with uh, Blackout because that's a little bit cheaper. He's actually a lot cheaper because you're not paying for all that extra pilot skill. But Blackout's not bad. He's still a PS7. 
Now we have some free upgrades we can give him, and they're actually both going to work with his ability. Blackout, one thing I like about him is that he's able to, uh, you're able to run him fairly cheap, uh, because Collision Detector I think is going to be really nice, considering that he wants to be so close to those, uh, to those obstacles. Uh, collision Detector is just going to work very, very well. And then Elite, uh, I'm going to give him Trick Shot, because, you know, <laughs> it's almost the default upgrade on, on Blackout. Um, so he's getting, you know, he's got two free upgrades, and both of them, um, you know, deal with obstacles, which also synergize with his pilot ability. It's it's just perfect. Now, one of the things we could do if you wanted to drop this down to Mangler Cannon, that would free you up with three points, and you could put something like Advanced Optics over here, uh, and then you'd have one point initiative bid, uh, or, or or what? You know, you could do that. That would that would that would potentially work. But I am actually going for. Um, I just I feel like it would be more fun to run the HLC. It would synergize a little better if I had Mangler because Harpooned Condition, you'll want the crit. And since this guy is going to shoot after Major Vendor, Major Vendor will shoot first, give somebody Harpooned, and then the uh, Rogue Squadron will always shoot after them. Uh, you know, that, that would, uh, you know, the, the uncancelled crit is more likely to get through that way. But because we have multiple um, rerolls, we can still get crits with a heavy laser cannon. Because you only have to change your hit crits to hits on the initial attack roll, not on re-rolls. So this can still work. Uh, it's just a little bit more attack dice at long range. And since there's so many ships now that are running like, you know, zero or one agility, um, you know, four attack dice, I think, is just, uh, you know, has a little more potential. Especially since we're going to be able to focus just about every turn and uh, we're going to have those re-rolls. So even if for some reason we lose all of our actions, we are still going to have two re-rolls uh, with the HLC or at least one. Uh, with the predator, so you know, definitely, I like this. I like, I like, I like the HLC. I've always liked the HLC. Um, I, it's it's a little expensive, but there's flexibility here. So if you don't like the HLC and you prefer Mangler with this build, totally do that. And then you can add, or you can add this First Order Vanguard title on there too, as well, which is actually a really nice title. So a lot of flexibility on ways to change up this list a little bit. But I'm going to call this one Double uh, Double Gunboat. There it goes, guys. So uh, that's going on right now. Uh, I do want to remind everybody that I do have another round of the giveaway going right now. If you want to win one of these expansions uh, in the form of a $20 Cool Stuff gift card, the only thing you need to do to enter that is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, that is running right now, and I will run for about a week or so. So make sure you are subscribed. Leave a comment. Click the little bell for alerts so you get those notifications. Uh, so you'll find out when I do announce more videos so you can find out when if you're a winner or not because you don't want to miss out on that uh also uh if you uh yeah if you like this video let me know what you think uh give it a thumbs up to support the channel and i definitely appreciate that uh thank you guys so much for all the support thank you guys for watching and have a great day